up from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Welcome back to my channel and happy new month. By the time you're watching this, it probably is a new month. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Nicole Nyasha and I make career and lifestyle related content. In today's video, we're going to be doing a couple of things. But first of all, I look like this because I have an event to attend and I woke up with puffy eyes. So annoying. So I just apply these under eye patches and hopefully it's going to like moisturize and I don't know what it's supposed to do but hopefully this solves my puffy eye by the time I'm done. What I want to do now is evaluate my March goals and then plan for Q2. Can you guys believe we're getting into Q2? We're in Q2 already like time has just gone by so fast and of course we just thank God and give him all the glory that we're still alive. We're still here today. Um, for my planning you guys already know I use the career um, planning workbook for 2022. I'll link this in the description box in case you want to get a copy for yourself But I set some goals for Q1 and then separate goals for January February March based on my Q1 goals So today I'm going to be going over all of that to see where I stand Then we'll set goals for Q2 and then break those down into what we can achieve for April So I'm just going back to see what goals we had set in Q1 and obviously I'm not going to be able to share all of these with you because some of them are very work specific and others are a bit personal but I'll find like maybe one thing to share for each like category in terms of scope of work um, I've been trying to get into recruitment marketing if you know my background I actually studied marketing and I do enjoy marketing but then I ended up working in like the recruitment space so I'm trying to find a way to like blend both of those and the best way I found to do that is to explore recruitment marketing so I actually did a couple of things related to that this quarter learning and development the goal that I set was to complete my certification and almost done with that I'm done with all my modules I just need to take the exam and work on the capstone project then for personal branding I set three goals I'll share two the first one was to be more active on LinkedIn which I did and if you're not following me on LinkedIn please go ahead and do so my handle is Nicole Nyasha. For the second goal, um, it was to build a network and just to connect with more people that are in the career space and I was actually able to do that. I connected with a lot of people that are in the career space here in Canada, here in Toronto actually as well. Then when it comes to work-related habits, one of the things I wanted to do was to identify my co-working hours. Obviously with working from home sometimes like things get very blurry, um, but I was able to identify the hours that I'm most productive so that I schedule like my most taxing tasks during that time and then I can do like my administrative and lighter tasks around that something else that I wanted to do was to just find like some work-life balance I found that I was very much always working I wanted to really be intentional about like you know taking breaks um, finding time to go out leave the house and yeah I was able to do that then I also had goals around giving back and one of those was to find somebody that I can I guess quote-unquote mentor but to find somebody that's trying to be where I am and share what I've learned along the journey and yeah that's in progress I can't share the rest of these goals but let's move on to April and see where we stand with April. sorry March oh my goodness I'm moving too forward let's move on to March for March obviously I wanted to complete all my online modules I was able to do that I wanted to post twice on LinkedIn I was able to do that as well I think those are the only ones that I'm able to share so what we're gonna do next is look at Q2 and then set goals around that just focusing on the same stuff so I'll set goals around the scope of work my compensation I actually do have goals for my compensation for this 
quarter um learning and development and you know the rest of them so once i've set my q2 goals i'll then break them down into april may june and then set goals specific to april and then i'll keep you guys posted <laughs> The first thing I actually do before I, oops, I'm listening to music. Um, the first thing I do before I actually put things down into the career planning workbook is I just brain dump um, on a separate piece of paper or in a different journal. That's actually something I'm going to add in the planner for next year. I want to do my nails now. This gel nail set is from Madame Glam. They were kind enough to send this to me a couple of months ago. Um, and I've been loving it actually. It's so convenient. So it comes with the LQ white thing and then a couple of gel colors. I'm going to go with purple. I'm gonna wear one of these Merit Signature Lip Lightweight Lipsticks. I'm not sure which one I wanna wear. One is like a pinkish color and the other one is brown. They're plant derived and also made with like essential oils for moisture and to give like natural scents. So you don't have to worry about like toxic chemicals or anything like that on your lips. for coming I literally had an epiphany one day in my bed and I was like look we need events like this for black women like yes we really yes we haven't had this luxury like So I just got done getting a few things from the grocery store and I'm just remembering that I need a few things from the African grocery store but we don't really have an African grocery store that's close to where I live. I live more like downtown Toronto um, so if I wanted one I need to drive to North York. So it was really interesting to be in the grocery store and people are not wearing masks. Officially you no longer have to wear masks in Ontario. I haven't reached that level of comfort yet but um, yeah I'm just gonna like sit here for a minute and decide if I want to go to North York or if I head back home. Enter destination. Your destination, please. I actually ended up going to the African store. I got palm oil, I got the goosey, and so I had to do my husband a good one and buy some cow leg. I'll probably make this for him sometime in April. Then I did get some fresh produce. This should keep us running for the week. Also decided to get a new um, dish scouring or washing thing. This is what I used to cook. I used to use olive oil. I didn't realize that olive oil is actually not good for like high heat cooking. It's more so for like a quick low heat cooking. So I use avocado oil now which is fine for that. I also got some coconut water. I don't really take juice when I'm at home. I drink coconut water or actual water. I really drink like juice, fruit juices and all that other stuff when I'm outside. Then I also got um, rice and beans. I've been buying rice and beans every time I go grocery shopping. If you know, you know. I am also cooking when Hubs found out that I went to the store and I bought a goosey. Now he wants a goosey because my goosey, you guys, is actually really bomb. So yeah, I am going to be clearing this stuff at the same time I'm making us dinner. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our faces are done. All the good times just begun. 
Look at what I just did. Oh my goodness. We're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.